Hello and welcome to this series on regular expressions. So the aim of this series is to get you from zero to hero when it comes to regular expressions. So I'm going to assume that you know nothing about regular expressions and you've never even heard of them. So what are regular expressions and why should you learn anyway? Well, the what is that a regular expression is simply a search pattern. So the same way you type uh, a specific word when you want to search through some text to find a, you're looking for a very specific word, but regular expressions are search terms that are very, very advanced, very, um, think of them like a search word, but on steroids, because you can search for things that you normally wouldn't search for when you're using the normal text search. So why would you want to learn such a thing? Well, it's very easy to parse data when you have regular expressions, when you're using regular expression. Let's say, for example, you have an, an HTML page and you want to grab all image tags from that page. So you can use a regular expression to get all the image tags, regardless what the content of the image tag is, it's going to match all of them. You can't really do that with a normal search because for a normal search, you type exactly what you want to search for and then you get a result. But with regular expressions, you don't do that. You type a pattern of what you're looking for and then it gives you the answers. So why the second reason to use these is because they're very efficient, they save time. In a situation where you have to type several uh, search patterns, you have to search several times to find specific things you're looking for, you can simply do it with one pattern on a regular expression and it will happen really fast, very efficient, and it's a lot of fun as well, of course. Also, it's a new skill that is very beneficial if you are in a workplace and you're the only one that knows regular expression because most people run away from this topic. So if you're the only one that knows this, you'll be very valuable, of course. So let me give you an example of a real world situation where I personally use regular expression. So sometimes I, uh, I run some uh, Facebook pages, of course, and sometimes I ask people to send their phone numbers and things like that to me. But then you see, I don't have the time to, let me give an example here. For example, on a page here, these are comments on a specific page. I make cartoons sometimes. So I ask people to send phone numbers. So they send phone numbers here in the comment section. But what options I have is to I can get copy these numbers and paste and type them in my phone directly, right? But this would take me a long time because people will leave a lot of phone numbers here. But if I'm using regular expressions, what I can do instead is just start from here and select. I'll just go down and select all of these. Um, I'll select all of these comments at once like this and just copy that. I'll bring it in here and paste, right? And then, so you see this text is mixed. Uh, there's so much text in here, but there's a simple pattern here showing up where there's a name and there's a phone number, name and phone number, and so on. So what I could do is just simply drop in a pattern that I created like this one, copy and paste. Now this pattern, if you look at it, it looks nothing like the text I'm searching for. This is the important bit. This is a pattern here and it's not the text I'm looking for per se, but just describing the kind of text. So when I copy this and I just paste it there, well, what do you see? So you see now it selects every name with its phone number and ignores everything else. Look at that. So like this, I end up, uh, collecting all these numbers within two seconds. And then I use my PHP to parse this data. And then I create something like a CSV file, like this one, where there are all these phone numbers uh, nicely put together. And then all I can do is get this file, put it in my phone and import it in my contacts. And then I have everybody added to my WhatsApp. 
see how powerful regular expressions can be. So it's just one example of what you can do. There's so much you can do with this. So in the next video, we're going to look at how to begin with regular expressions and I will see you then.